Welcome back to the Man Cave for another installment of Man Cave Meals. Tonight, we're going to put a big brisket on the Big Joe Kamado. And I'm fixing dinner for a couple of people for tomorrow night, Sunday night, that helped me move the Big Joe into the new table last weekend. I asked them uh, what they'd like for me to feed them as payment for them helping me move that grill, and both of them wanted brisket. So. We're going to put a 17 pounder on the Big Joe here in a little bit and let it cook overnight. Uh, we're going to get started. Uh, we're going to make a homemade dry rub for it. We're going to prep the brisket and get it ready to go. So let's get started. We're going to get started on our dry rub here by starting out with equal amounts of freshly ground black pepper and salt. We're going to put that in give it a little bit of a mix around and then we're going to add uh, some paprika give it a little color then we're going to put in a little garlic powder follow that up with a little onion powder a little bit of ground mustard and finish it off with a little bit of cayenne pepper not a whole lot of cayenne just a little and we'll whisk that all together and set that aside and that's what we are going to rub our brisket with so we'll start getting the brisket prepped I'm gonna trim it off video and uh, bring it back and then we'll put rub on Okay, I've got my brisket trimmed out, and we're going to do the typical mustard slather. We're going to rub mustard all over the surface of it to help our rub bind to it. Let's rub it all over like that, and then we're going to sprinkle our rub on. I'm going to give it a good liberal coat. And after we get that side coated, we're just going to pat it down, get that rub to stick. And then we will flip it over and repeat the process. So now that we're flipped, we'll go back to the mustard again and rub it all over. These uh, gloves I have here, these blue nitrile gloves, I picked them up, found a bargain on these, a box of a hundred at Harbor Freight for $5.99. Just thought I'd pass that along to you also. So we're ready to hit the rub. And the next thing we're going to do now that we have this rub on here is I'm going to wrap it up in this foil and put it back in the refrigerator and it's going to sit there for I don't know, four hours or so until we're ready to put this on the grill for a long overnight cook. So we'll be back when we get ready to go to the grill. Okay, we got the Big Joe up, up the tent here. Got a little bit of applewood smoke going in there. I'm gonna set this big boy right here on the grill. And then I'm gonna get my meat probe right down here into the middle of the thick part of the flat and we're gonna let this thing ride I'm gonna cook it about 250 tonight and uh, let it go with that because I've got plenty of time to get this cooked so I'm guessing that we're looking at 12 to 13 hours maybe or actually I'm gonna say somewhere between 11 and 13 hours so we will check it out when it's done okay we are 12 and a half hours into this cook uh, my meat temperature is reading a 197 internal temperature and I've probed it it's nice and probe tender very nice so I think we're gonna pull this guy off and wrap it up and rest it looks like we're going to be resting it for about three and a half hours and we'll be back at dinner time to have a look at it okay folks here it is it's dinner time and i've uh cut up some of this brisket here we'll pull a good piece out of the middle it just 
nicely pulls apart. It's very tender, juicy. We're going to have a quick taste. Mm. That's just about perfect. So we're going to wrap this cook up and go feed the family some dinner. Until next time, Man Cave Meals.